Yo, what's up, YouTube? Leo Shang here, host of the Extreme Fully Fishing Channel. Welcome to another episode of the bonus footage. In this episode, I'm bringing you guys all the juicy footage that I got when I went down to Washington, D.C. for a day of fishing. That's right, folks. I was there like last week or two weeks ago. I don't really remember. And the main objective for the day initially was for me to catch a long nose gar, which is a species of fish that I don't have yet. As a matter of fact, when it comes to the gar genus, I only have one species, right? As you guys know, which is the Florida gar, the Lepizostils platyrincus, I believe that is a scientific name, which by the way, I caught it with the help of my friend Pierce Sanders, right? AKA Finna Fish. <laughs> but you know, as soon as I got down to Washington DC and I started fishing, I kind of got off track, let's just put it that way. And instead of pursuing the long nose gar, I just went off to do some multi-species fishing right game fishing so hey sit tight grab some popcorn and i hope you folks enjoy the footage well 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 i've been walking over here for a little while i have yet to see any gar but we did find here very interesting stuff that you find here in washington dc yeah there's a trash right over there let's just throw it in the trash man like, why people would leave these things, you know? <laughs> oh, brother, go where you belong, man! Hmm. Oh, fish on. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a bass. It's a bass, it's a bass. First fish of the day is a largey on the Senko, cast right by the pillar. Oh yeah, not bad. Solid. First fish of the day. We're giving the gar a little rest for now and just going for the regular game fish. Look at that, huh? Beautiful little bass. Bit on the three inch Senko. I lost the Senko, but the O-ring is here. Are you kidding? Oh, give me my O-ring back, dude. Yeah, that's right. What do you think you're doing? Oh, hey, man. There we go, huh, people? First fish of the day. Not too bad, a little one and a half pounder here. Super, super beautiful, large mouth bass. All right, back you go. And we will see what other species are around here. Holy mackerel, do you guys see that? That, that's that's like an eight pounder snake head right over here. Holy moly. Let's set the, the stuff real, real fast here. Oh, fish on. What is that? Wait, what? What is this? A little striped bass, man. Species number two of the day. A little tiny striper from Washington, D.C. Oh, man, can you believe it? I've been fishing here for quite a little while. Just landed a little striped bass, all right, the Moroni Saxatilis on the Rebel Floater Jerkbait. Let me tell you something, it's been a struggle. I mean, I landed one large mouth bass, this little, this little striped bass, and there has been a snakehead, a northern snakehead the chana argus is swimming around here for about half an hour now it is about six to seven pounds pretty big and i threw already everything in front of that fish and that fish didn't bite i'm talking about micro chatter bait zoom flux jigs with little kitex style lures you know even top water the mouse didn't want anything so the struggle has been quite real over here. I haven't seen any long nose gar yet. But you know what? We are at two species of fish in this video. Let's continue fishing and see what happens. Dang, man. Fish on. Oh, yeah. 
sun. I knew there was something around. Yeah, not bad. Drop shotting. Not against the wall, but more out there. Little fella. But hey, man, every fish counts in this kind of uh, situation. You know what I'm saying? Sun's been a tough day today. All right. What's up with the airplanes, dude? These airplanes, man! Wow! Oh yeah, oh dang son, that's what I call a slab, dang my man, no wonder it felt so light, wow, look at this, <laughs> oh man, look at the size of this crappy dude, holy moly, it's definitely a pretty nice one, dang son, can anyone say slab? Look at this crappie. This is a very, very beautiful crappie. Now, once you catch one of these, usually there's more around, right? So I just cast over there and I was really it in. If there's one, there's gotta be more. There we go. Oh yes, son. Son, I felt this one. This one, I felt it. Yay, chubby. Oh man, he held it. Fat. I mean, short, but certainly fat. Look at that, huh? Not bad. Not bad. Son, it's a fat crappie, dude. That's a very fat crappie on the Aero Tackle B vibe. Holy moly! Four pound test line, Aero Tackle B vibe. This is there's some slab crappie over here. This dude, oh man! <laughs> Woo! Look at that B vibe, Aero Tackle B vibe, son. Wow. Okay. All right. Let's let's release it. But this nice crappie, man. I found some crappie jumbo. Oh man. Man, tidal basin's got some jumbo ass crappie, dude. Dude, I don't pass here. Nobody pass. I come fishing here. Like everyone comes. Oh, son, he hit on the go. All right, easy, easy, boy, easy. <laughs> Four pound test. <laughs> ah, just like that. So how was it? Not bad, huh? Not bad. A few largemouth bass on the drop shot, a little largemouth bass on the Senko, a few slab black crappie, right? It was a good day down in Washington DC, all right? I didn't want to turn this footage into a full video, so I just decided to bring it as a bonus footage. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. There is no preview for the next video on the YouTube channel. Hopefully, the next video that is going to come up is going to be the first video of my Virginia series in Newport News. Okay, folks, thank you very much for watching. Tidelines and take it easy.